like having 25 police officers in like full outfits in the lobby. For students who have been incredibly peaceful and wonderful for four days straight in a hot building. among us we have so many people who know in their hearts that this is not the right way for our society to be going and that is why they are afraid sitting in their boardroom today trying to decide about divestment or not divestment we will show them that absolutely no matter what we will keep coming back we will come back and tomorrow our numbers will double and we will not stop until the UMass Foundation divests 100 percent from all of the Morgan is trying to build a high-pressure frack gas pipeline through this region. As much as we can, we need to build our movement together to also declare that there is no way that we are going to let the frack gas coming out of Pennsylvania use Massachusetts in order to fulfill the U.S. superior agenda over the rest of the world by selling that gas overseas. We are going to say no to fracking, no to frack gas, no to all fossil fuels, yes to a certain power movement. Understanding that climate change is extremely important, but we have to also remember what cl who climate change affects. Climate change affects a majority of urban communities. Yes. Urban communities which include brown people like me. We need to understand that this is not just a fight about saving the trees, this is a fight about saving humanity. Yes. If we're gonna stand in solidarity right here, right now, we stand in solidarity at all the marches that are about humanity. Not just today, I'm talking about standing against racism. I'm talking about standing with our trans brothers and sisters. I'm talking about standing with everybody. I need everyone, it is everyone's duty. It is everyone's extreme responsibility as human beings to stand with each other in all these causes. If you believe it's right to allow people to just live their lives and just be free, you gotta stand with each other every single time. The next time that you're gonna sit there and fight for something, you're fighting for all of humanity. I'm talking about people who look like me. You're fighting for all those who don't have the money. You're fighting for all those who actually don't have the food. The people in food deserts. Why do you think those things happen? That was systematically created. Are you kidding me? These climate change things that was systematically created. Are you kidding me? Just think about all the people that end up suffering from these changes. It's on purpose. So let's fight for them. Because they can't always fight for themselves. Um... And so, this particular, like, a lot of the things that I think about when I think about climate change is what this is going to do for the next, like, 50, 100 years of our lives. And so here to talk to us a little bit 
are Lucy and Ellie, who are um, youth who tried to get arrested with us today. Um, but we told them. And I'll leave it to y'all to talk about who you are and where you're from. Um, but trying to get arrested with us today, and we were like, I don't know what to do with 14-year-olds and 16-year-olds who are putting their bodies on the line to get arrested with us here. Today. So we're going to talk about their commitment and what makes them so committed to this struggle and why they're willing to fight and put their bodies on the line. Get up. It is crazy that we are the only minors here today, and it's it's not okay because this is this is our future and this is our land, and I grew up here, and this is the place where I have lived my whole life, and I want to be able to live out the rest of my life with trees and with land and with love and with people that can survive this. ExxonMobil by 1978 by 1978 Exxon senior scientists knew that climate change was real and caused by humans and would result in dangerous global temperature rise they kept this information secret ExxonMobil is a top financial donor of the University of Massachusetts Shame. I just want to close with one more thing 30 years ago, I was a student here at UMass. And in April, we took over this building and we demanded that they divest from South Africa. That was the first action I ever took. And you know what they said? Yes. Guess what they said? Yes. They said no. <laughs> and they said, oh, we're gonna. We're thinking about it. Oh, we're gonna bring it up. Oh, but we did already. <laughs> Same thing. But you know what? We built our numbers. We made those phone calls. Our parents made the phone calls. And we won. <laughs> and we're gonna win again today. Thank you.